Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. Hi, I am Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's continue our overview to the interface of the program. The ribbon. It had first introduced in Excel 2007. The ribbon makes it easy to find commands that were previously hidden under complex menus and toolbars. It helps a quickly find the tools. Each tab opens its own ribbon. Each ribbon is divided into groups. Tools are organized in logical groups that were collected together under specific tabs. This is the font group. It contains commands for formatting fonts. Second is the alignment group. It contains commands for formatting cells. Alignment, spacing, indent text inside cells, text direction and rotation in cells. Styles groups contains commands for cell styles and table formats also conditional formatting numbers group contain command for formatting numbers to look like currency date and time percentage or fractions editing group contains find and select sort and filter so commands are organized into groups some groups has dialog box launcher which enables you to launch dialog box for the group this is dialog box launcher for font group where you can find more commands for formatting font because not all commands is shown on ribbon but only the most popular so clicking here enables you to enter the dialog box where you can find more options for font formatting. Click the dialog box launcher for font group. The format cells dialog box opens. It has many tabs, but now the opened tab is the font tab. You can notice two commands that you cannot find on Rebon superscript and subscript. Also, click the dialog box launcher for the alignment group. Format cells dialog box opened, but this time the alignment tab is shown, which contain options for text alignment and text control. Let's uh, try to click the dialog box launcher for the number group. It enables you to open the number tab in the format cells dialog box here you can make formatting and number styling like comma separator digital places percentage date and time and the currency some groups has no dialog box launcher such as styles group cells group Let's take some ribbons tips. Double click any tab will minimize the ribbon. As you can see, double click for example formula tab, ribbon get minimized. And double click it again will maximize it. The same as we click this button, minimize and maximize ribbon. When ribbon is minimized, only one click you're still able to use it. Just to click its tabs, use the command you want. After that, ribbon get minimized automatically. Okay, why we need to minimize ribbon? To gain more area and a wider workspace, to decrease the crowded workspace. 
The second tip is that you can use keyboard to work with ribbon. If you press and release the Alt key, you see the little boxes called key tips over each command available in the current view. Let's try. Press Alt key, key tips appear on each command, such as F for file, H for home, N for insert. Okay, let's press F to enter the backstage view. Continue pressing the key tips and we choose press S for save. Again, let's try pressing N for insert, then C for insert a chart. Let's take the third tip. You can create custom ribbons and groups. These are the built-in tabs, but you can add your custom tabs. By right-click any tab, then click Customize the ribbon. A dialog box is opened showing all main tabs, which is built in the program. Click the tab where you want to put your custom tab after it. Then click New tab. A new tab is added. But I want to rename it. So click Rename button. Type the name that describe the use of your custom tab. Then click OK. I choose my own tab to be its name. Now I will add my favorite command. Click the desired command from the left list. For example, increase font size and the macros. Then click Add. Have you noticed that commands we add are not located directly in the tab, but Excel automatically put them in a group? Also, you can rename this group and choose a symbol which is suitable. Let's give it a name of Actions. To add more groups inside my own tab, just click the group you want to put after and click new group. Then rename it as we learned. I will choose this time the name of formatting. Continue adding the commands to your groups. OK. Let's see the result. Great! My own tab is added after formula tab. Clicking it, I will find two groups, actions and formatting. Each one has also two commands. Tip number four says that you can rearrange tabs and groups. If you want to move the Home tab to be the last tab or you want to rearrange groups in the same tab like the font to be after alignment so you need to customize the ribbon again right click any tab click customize the ribbon and here is our tabs if you want the home tab to be the last one, okay, click the home tab and click the down arrow, which means you will move it down. One step, again, we move it one step, we will set it here after the view tab. Okay. You can note that the home tab now it is at the end. 
again right click any tab customize the ribbon if you want to change the order of the group like clipboard to be in the middle after number okay yes the group of clipboard now is in the middle do you know that you can hide built-in tabs but you are not allowed to remove them from customize the ribbon dialog box you can uncheck any unwanted tab either it is built in or it is my own tab click ok to see what happened yeah we hide all tabs except three ones right click the ribbon choose customize the ribbon read check the hidden tabs to show them again if you want to remove your own tabs right click them and choose remove but if you want to remove a built-in tab you are not allowed to finally if i had made a lot of customization to many tabs and i want to get rid of them so i can reset the ribbon i have two choices number one to reset only selected ribbon now i am standing on data tab and i have made a new group custom group there reset only the selected tab will remove this new group only but i can see more customization is done above if you want to remove all customization in all tabs so you must choose the second choice also you can export your customization to a file then you can import this customization file in another device so you can share your customization with any device or to share it with your friend i think i had explained in details everything about the ribbon its location composition and customization thank you for watching edubedia world videos see you at the next video